Minecraft Snapshot 12W34A. Um, I believe this snapshot just came out today, so um, hopefully we'll be one of the first people on YouTube to show it off in video. So um, let's get started here. Um, so this chest has all the essentials we need for Snapshot 12W34A. So look in here and ooh, 12W34A for dummies, written by yours truly, Professor Folio XD, with this new fancy lab coat, made possible by 12W34A, and some music discs, very nice. So we'll put on the lab coat here. Class. So um, if you're wondering how I got the lab coat, Stay tuned and I'll show you in the video. So we'll put some music in here to accompany us. So, oh, oopsies, like, okay, so we'll look in the handbook. Added item frames. So, these are item frames. So basically, they're like, um, they're kind of like picture frames, but you can put an item inside there and it shows the item. And if you right click on it, you can rotate the item, which is pretty cool. So right here, I have a frame section, which I won't explain because it's a paradox. Um, this is a picture within a frame, which is also kind of inception. Now this I really like. This is a um, map inside a frame. So now you can hang your maps on the wall and you can see the maps. And for those of you who think Minecraft has really bad graphics, I think this is a pretty big improvement. Because look at those tiny pixels. Amazing. But here's a sword, and I think this is pretty cool because when you rotate it, you can like sort of point to where to go. So like maybe in adventure map, you can point like over here, this way, over here, this way. So yeah, um, so how to craft this, you'll need one piece of leather and eight sticks and you go in your workbench here, put the leather in the middle and sticks around it. Just like how you would make a, um, make a painting but only with leather. So you can just plunk it down here and you can put whatever you want in there. Um, I'll put a clock in there because you now this is very useful because this actually tells the time. So you can add this to your house and you can walk around and you'll see the time, even though you probably should have windows. But yeah. So um, moving on, what do we have next? Cobblestone and mossy cobblestone walls. Yes. Now these are cobblestone walls, they act just like fences as they are um, one and a half blocks high and they do connect with mossy cobblestone walls. And a single wall looks like a fence post kind of thing, pretty cool and they do attach to other blocks. And um, let me just experiment here. There. I want to see if I can build an actual wall with these walls. Oops. Oh. It's kind of. Oh, it's kind of weird. But pretty cool still. I'm interested to see what people can come up with these designs. Because this actually looks not bad. I mean, you might be able to find an arrow through here actually. Let me try this. Because this would make for pretty good castles. Okay. Oh you can. Nice. Yeah, this would make very for very good cover in PvP combat. And to craft this you just need um you just need 
Oh, where's the cobblestone? Um, oh, there it is. You just need six cobble or mossy cobble. You arrange them like that, and you get cobblestone walls. Just along with that, like so. And um, they do stack on top of each other, so you can make pretty cool. You can make well, you can make lamp, like street lights with without fences now. And another addition I forgot to put in the handbook is um, trap doors can now be placed upside down, so they can close this way, which would make for cool windows and you know, other stuff too. Let's turn on the lights. Um, the next thing. Oops. Added the flower pot, and I forgot to put one here, so we just. Actually, we'll go craft one. So, just come over here, and you put bricks like you craft a bucket, and you get a flower pot. So you can just plunk one here, and you can place basically anything in. Maps now align to grid. Maps can be cloned by crafting empty map with filled map. So, as you can see here on this map, um, that little green arrow thing shows where I crafted it. And the now, the, the center of the map is not where you craft it now. Um, the center is just somewhere random in a grid kind of like thing. So, you can align this map with other maps easier. And they're not all random and confusing. And now, when you craft a map, um, you now get a empty map. So as you can see, it's empty. But unless you right-click with it, and then it turns into a map. But if you get a empty map, if you want to duplicate a map and show it to your friend or something, you can just go to your workbench. Place one here, and you get two maps that are the same. And you see the, you guys see the map glitching? Okay. Pretty cool. But yeah, and it doesn't seem to show. The, oh, weird. It doesn't show the green thing. That I crafted it. Hmm. Must be a bug. And this is now glitching up too. But yeah, moving on. Uh, they added corner stairs, which I think is really, really cool. So over here, we have some stairs. And some stairs over here. And when you place a st You know what, I'll just show you. I will show you. So if you come over here, place one like here, place one here. Say you're building like a roof. You got stairs going up like that and you run into the corner you don't have to place a half slap here anymore you just place a stair and it'll automatically turn into a corner stair and yeah this would make for pretty cool designs i think and they also work like this it's kind of hard to explain but you guys can see and they do react to other types of stairs and they connect upside down too and these make pretty cool colors, to say. It's pretty cool. But, uh, next thing. Entities now travel through portals. So, I'm assuming it works for end portals as well, but if I throw a flower in there. Let me see. 
Oh, I think it might have traveled through. Oh, yes it did. And this also works for animals, so if we get a picky here, we can push it through. Oh, and there it goes. And they travel a lot faster than humans, or sleeves, or in this case, hogs. But yeah, pretty cool. Because now you can ride a pig in the nether. Um, next thing. Leather clothes can now be dyed. So now they're called, um, yeah. Well, now the normal leather clothes have a different color. So, let me just wear it here so you guys can see. Get rid of my lab coat. Oh, uh, they look pretty much the same. But you see, you got buttons there now. But, um, you can, to dye them, you can just grab some clothes and grab your dyes. Um, I'll make this. Um, so just come over here to your crafting table. So now you can make tuxedos, which is pretty cool. Um, do this hippie hat, Yay. um, jeans, some orange hippie shoes. Now let's put them on. Ooh, yeah. One thing though is that this these um leather uh clothes if you if you dye a full set of um yellow leather clothes they do sort of look like gold armor and same case with gray leather and um uh, light blue they kind of look like diamonds and uh diamond armor and iron armor so show you here well the iron one is the closest, but you can see how someone would think this is diamond armor from far, far away. But up close, it's not gonna do anything. Uh, but you can undye. So if you think you don't like this and you'd rather get a plain one, it's too hippie. You can just go in a cauldron, right click, and there you go. It's washed out. And these do get like a purple sort of name thing. It's a dye. And they do take one use away from these cauldrons. So, let's see. Um, who wears shirts these days? I mean, look at those abs. So, um, yeah.